What's up everyone, this is Mubin Tariq and welcome back to another interesting Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So today we are going to learn about the image trace option in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start our video. Before starting, please like this video and subscribe my channel and hit that post notification button that you never miss any updates on my channel. So let's start. First of all, open Illustrator and create an artboard here as I have created and then import an image here as I have created this type of image here. You can simply press Ctrl O to open any image. So this is a sketch or a drawing of Doraemon. So let's say I select this one. So on the top, this is the image trace option. But before that, I want to tell you about the Swiss library which I have forget to tell in our last video. So let's say I go to Windows panel and here I go down and here it is, the Swatch libraries. In the Swatch libraries, there are many other things like art history, art history colors, celebration color, color books. Like I go to celebration, so here you can see this type of color switches will show. And you go to Windows, so as libraries and here when you go to the patterns panel basic graphics basic dot graphics dots lines textures i click on the textures so there are many textures as for suppose i press ctrl n to create a new document here to tell you about the swatch library which i have forget well in our last video Let's say I draw scale here and now I click here. It will fill that texture or pattern into this our shape. It can be useful for you. And I go to window, switch libraries, then patterns, decorative, decorative, decorative legacy. There are many beautiful textures and patterns in this. There are also many type of gradients already in the Swatch library, which you can use in your projects. Gems and Jewel Metal. There are different kinds of gradients in this, which you can use, like as you can see this. One. So I hope you guys have understand about the Swatch library. By the way, you can also open the Swatch library so when you go to the Windows panel and then check Swatches. Here it is. Check Swatches. It will open the Swatches panel here. And here you can see this, the Swatch library menu. Here you can see many type of Swatches, which is the Swatch library. When you click here and you select other library, then you can import your own color libraries here, Swatch libraries. So I hope you guys have understand about this. So let's go to our image trace. When you select this image, on top you can see this option, the image trace. When you uncheck the image, it will disappear. So when you click here, it will select the option, the image trace. When you click here, it will open some settings of the image trace. We will talk about this later. But for now, I select this one and I click here. Image trace. It will trace the image. Now it has traced the image. Now this is a vector based image. Like before, I press Ctrl Z to undo. Now you can see this on zooming in, it is pixelizing because it's an image. When I click on the image trace, it will be converted into a vector. Now it will not be pixelized. But here you can see this that how easily it has drawn this image. And when I put it right over here, you can see the white area behind this. Now you can simply click on the expand. It will expand the image and it will convert these shapes into different. And when you select our magic wand tool and click on the white area and then press delete option on your keyboard. It will delete the white area from the image. Now you can fill colors in this also. 
We will fill colors in this also. After before, I want to tell you a more, few more things about the image. Let's say go to our second image, and here, this is an image. This is a low quality image. This was a high quality image, and this is a low quality image. As you can see, this this is pixelized. And now, if I click on the image trace, it will trace the image like this. Here, we need our image trace panel. Go to Windows and click here Image Trace. It will open the image trace option like here. And now here you have to increase the value threshold and go to advanced options increase the threshold amount like here and in advanced you can increase its path its corners as you can see, when you decrease its value, its corners will be smooth. But as I am increasing this value, its edges or corners are becoming more accurate. Check. And the last thing is noise. When you decrease its amount, it will look, it will add dark noise in this. And when you increase its value, it will delete the noise from the image. So decrease its value. Other things are here you can also see the ignore white when I click here it will ignore the white area from our image but we can also do this by using our magic wand tool so let's say I hope you guys have understand this that how you can echo with the low quality image and now if I select the expand it will expand this area now I select the magic wand tool I click here and then I press the delete option now I click select all and I put it right over here. Now you can see that this is only one object. When I select this one, this is selecting the whole image. But when you press Ctrl Shift G on your keyboard to ungroup this, now these are separate. You can delete any part from here. To make it look clean, you have to delete these areas. Select this and delete this. If you want you can also again group this by pressing the control G option. Now I hope you guys have understand this that how you can tackle with the low quality image. Let's say I go to our third image which is in a color form. It's in the color. Let's say resize it like this. And this time I select our this image and I click on the image trace option. You can also trace the image when you click here on the preview option. It will also trace the image. This time our image was in the colors, but it has converted that color, colored image into the black and white. That's why it is showing more black area. When you see this modes, click here. There are three options: color, gray style, and black and white. It's already in the black and white. When I select the gray style, that's it. It will take a lot of time in this. Now it has been converted to the gray style vector. Vector image. And when I click here and this time I select our color. It is going to take a lot of time in the progress. This have 
converted our image into a colored vector image and you can also decrease or increase its colors its paths There are already many presets here, default presets like 3 colored, it will trace our image into the 3 color, 6 color, 16 color, shades of grey, black and white, sketched art, silly art, line art, and technical drawing. You can use these presets also. Next thing is view, tracing the result. Tracing the result with outlines, outlines, you can only put it to the tracing result. So I hope you guys have understand about the image rays. So let's say we go to our first image. Now we want to fill color in this one. But here you can see one thing. When you press Ctrl G to ungroup this one, you can see this is not a stroke. This is itself a fill. When you see here, the fill color is black and the stroke color is disabled or unchecked. Let's say drag it and drop it to our this new artboard. By using the swatches, you can fill any color in this, like this. But it is only filling the colors into its fill because it's in a fill form. Here, if you want to fill colors in this, you have to use our live paint bucket tool. By the way, I have already made a detailed video about the live paint bucket tool. If you want to watch that video, then check the link in the description of this video or click on the i button to go to that video. Let's say I right click here. And I click here and there it is our live paint bucket tool. But before that, I want to select some colors from this image which I want to fill in this. So let's see. I take an image of Doraemon from Google. I open image new tab. You can also copy the image from here. Copy image, go to Illustrator, and here you can paste that. Yes, I put it right away. And I make some color schemes. Or you can also fill directly colors from this image. Let's say I select this image and I press Ctrl 2 to lock this one. And I now select, I will now go to over this image. I select our live paint bucket tool. And when you press the Alt key, it will enable the picker tool. I click this one to select this color. And I fill this color in this area. Here also. Here, here. And now I select this color. Fill it right over here, here, this one here, and this color here. So it has filled the color in our this image. So I hope you guys have understood this tutorial. If yes, then tell me in the comment section of this video. I hope you guys will create amazing things by using the image rays. Whatever you create or design after watching this tutorial, don't forget to share your work with me on my Facebook. My Facebook link is in the description of this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification button that you never miss any updates on my channel. Goodbye.